different. I mean, I've just spotted this coming in and I'm blown away. This thing is bloody amazing. Look at it, it's, it's, it's unreal. Well, so, it is a camper van, uh, but it's a camper van with a lot of space. It's so, for tall people like myself, we won't have to keep banging our heads. Yeah, short people like me, it's not living in a mansion. We're having a little look around our Volkswagen here today and um, we're coming across lots and lots of campers but it doesn't get any better if you can get your own camper and then convert it to whatever you need. So these guys here, um, they're going to explain a little bit about um, what we've got to see here. You'll see a bit of footage of what we got um, and what you guys can have. So just looking at the camper van, what sort of model have we got here? This is a 310 Compass Navigator. Okay. Based on a T4 chassis cab. Okay, and it sort of came to you as a standard stock and then... It did. Uh, fully rear upholstered, uh, custom fabricated all the air suspension, uh, sat on 20 inch Bentley Mulliners. I was going to say the, the Bentley wheels are uh, making it a little bit different to everybody yep, else out there. A lot different, yeah. So if I wanted a set of Bentley wheels, what's my budget? 1500, 2000 pounds. Okay, so that's come right, with tyres hopefully. Yep. <laughs> that's fine, so with, I say, the specification, so you literally can do interior exit with stuff like upgrades if you want to do cookers microwave tvs yep how does that work so you can do any specification literally anything you want okay so where what's the name of your company bespoke and where are you guys based based in derby okay perfect so guys you'll have a little look around the footage and stuff you'll see everything but if you want to get yourself a camper van look it's an amazing but if you want to make yourself like your own custom van then you need to come and see these guys they'll look after you and get everything you need So we're just walking around the show and we've just spotted uh, probably the one of the most iconic Volkswagen vehicles ever. From the boyhood dream, from driving kit to uh, the self-driving car. car. It doesn't get it. Who also, from what I remember, was the most unbeaten race car. I think it was one of the unbeaten race cars ever. So who needs a Ferrari when you've got Herbie? It doesn't get any more iconic. I, mean, I remember as a child being given the choice uh, to go and see Herbie Goes Bananas or the new 007 movie and I chose Herbie uh, and my dad wanted to see Bond and we went to see Herbie and I think my dad has never forgiven me. Well, I, I can probably understand that. So uh, to actually get to drive Herbie with him would be... So now, now, you've got the chance to drive the DB or Herbie. Where are you well, going? It's going to be the DB. You sure? 100%. You don't I don't need to think about it. And now your dad's probably suggesting you drive the Herbie. Is that how it probably works? Probably would work, yes. <laughs> So, so we'll have a quick look around Herbie and all that guys look for those with a little bit younger audience you might not have seen it check it out the fastest race car you'll ever see For you guys that have been watching uh, some of our videos and that, if you look back to our Brooklyn's New Year's Day video, uh, we met these guys down there. This car literally had just been finished within two weeks. Um, so there's been a few updates since we've been, we'll say, at Volkswagen today. So we've just seen them here today. So not sure, say, if you remember, if you can look back on the video, you would have seen down here, there was a nice piece of yellow rope. That yellow rope was their handbrake. But it officially tells me now, their handbrake is all installed, all working, doing everything that it should do. Uh, the other thing that we had um, before, you could not see out of the windscreen. Um, so now you can see out of the windscreen, which is always good. A um, couple of little updates as well. If we just come around here, you'll see now. 
<laughs> nice little scoop. And I thought that was to cool the engine down. He now tells me uh, that when he closed the bonnet before, um, all that was for was it to stop it um, accelerating. Because every time they closed the boot, um, it used to open the throttle and make the car fly off. Um, so, which is not good. The only thing, so this is drivable, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as I say, for the ones who've not seen the video, just look in. Look. That is what you call air conditioning. Look at that floor. But he has installed two seats. Uh, no need for upholstery, uh, which is always good. Um, but yeah, it, it does drive. The only thing, it's got a bit of a technical issue. Um, it will just sound on the clutch. Um, it's leaking a little bit. But other than that, this took two weeks to build, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and for me, it don't get any better. If you're going to have a rat rod, if you're going to have a, a beater of any sort, then uh, for me, this is this is where you're going to go. So on the sale, now's your chance to uh, put it up for sale. What, to, what? So what year is it? First of all, it's a 1969 chassis. Uh, it's got uh, an independent Model Y front end. Uh, well, it's a 1600 twin port running twin 34s uh, and buggy exhausts. Uh, 5 by 130 converted rear drums to fit. I think they're Wolseley wheels, wire wheels, uh, running cross prize with rounds. Okay, well I think, look, for me, ladies and gentlemen, it's a showstopper. That's a show, <laughs> none of this checkbook stuff and all that. Come and give this man some money. We'll give you a little link to, the, to these guys, but come and give him some money and take a, what I would class as the showstopper. Oh, wow. All the ones in there, you ain't going to beat this. This has probably got more looks than any beetle on this site. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want it, give us a shout. We'll put you in touch with these guys. Come and see it.
fantastic day out at uh, Volksworld. What's um, your thoughts, Cole? Yeah, as I say, like I said earlier, first time for me here. Um, you ain't going to get more Volkswagens um, in one place, I don't believe. No, um, I wouldn't have thought so. We've no. caught up with some uh, old faces. Yeah, some old faces in some new builds. New builds. There will be a, you'll see a little bit of a follow-up. Hopefully, we've given them three weeks uh, for the next build because he's done one in one week, one in two weeks. So three weeks, he should have an awesome ride by then. A um, few updates that you'll see again on the thing. But yeah. for us, as I say, for a venue, wow. Um, hard standing everywhere, inside, uh, food's been good. The sun's been, I think, very windy. Uh, can't do nothing about that. A bit, bit chilly. windy today, yeah, a bit cold. Lucky I've got the old fleece jacket on. Uh, definitely has been good. Um, but yeah, as I say, from an overall perspective, for me, Volksworld, you guys are smashing it. Yeah, you know I, what you're doing. I think uh, it's been a great day. I think there's been some amazing vehicles, you know, some stuff from uh, some real classics, some modern stuff, you know, something for everyone. There's some mint stuff, some rat rods. Uh, there's a wide variety of vehicles here uh, and you can see a lot of love has gone into these vehicles uh, yeah it's been a fantastic day I can't come I can't come I can't wait to come again maybe well as well on top of that if you're looking to sort of get into the building side of things <laughs> there's been every trader here flip side of that so if you're looking to get into the build side of things um, there is plenty of auto traders here there is plenty of stalls in there and the thing for me that I'm starting to notice which I'm I'm falling for the Volkswagen side of things is these guys are, are builders. The builders these are not turning up buying checkbooks these are builders there's a lot a lot a lot of love going into all of these cars um, so that that's a bit of me I'm all over that whereas yeah. what are we say? you're a dreamer weren't it was I, it key in and I'm a dreamer. Bip, bip. Well, I dream of building one of these, so I've got to. You dream it, I'll build it. Something like that, yeah. Let's build that dream together. Anyway, on that note, I think we should cut uh, where we are. We're on a number 97 tape to finish the video because uh, Carl just can't get it right. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm signing off. Keep subscribing. Thanks for sharing. Uh, we'll see you soon. Anything uh, else to add? No. He's uh, said it all. That's all for me. Yeah.